plumber takes job at cancer-sick 91-year-old's home and his invoice is now going viral. It's not always easy to keep faith in humanity, especially in these troubling times, but we can never completely give up hope. After all, there are still a lot of warm and kind-hearted people out there who will do their best to restore it. And this plumber is definitely one of them. When you're presented with an invoice from a plumber, it usually isn't something to smile about. When a British 91-year-old woman suffering from cancer read the invoice that her plumber gave her, she couldn't believe what she was seeing. The plumber in question, James Anderson, definitely didn't charge too much for his work. It's not exactly that kind of shocking invoice. Instead, what he wrote on the document made the entire internet fall in love with him due to his selflessness and kindness. Anderson, a 52-year-old father of five, recently launched his private plumbing and heating business. However, he recently decided to transform his business into a non-profit named Defer. With Defer, the man hopes to lower the barrier for the elderly and the disabled to get heating and plumbing support. A lot of families and people can't afford it or don't know how to get help, especially in the midst of a pandemic. And that's where Anderson and his nonprofit hope to make a difference. Even though the man has helped out a ton of different people in the United Kingdom, this one particular story has truly made him an internet superstar, warming the hearts of people around the world. When he visited the elderly woman's home to give her boiler a checkup and deal with some leaks, he left her an invoice with a big fat charge of zero pounds. He didn't charge her a single cent. No charge for this lady under any circumstances. We will be available 24 hours to help her and keep her as comfortable as possible," the plumber wrote on his invoice. Somehow, the invoice made its way on the internet, and it didn't take long before the invoice spread like wildfire. For James, this was a small act of kindness, but the rest of the world simply fell in love with him as he was overwhelmed with positive reactions. We didn't expect it, it's been everywhere, he said about the massive response. James made the switch from a private business to a non-profit after he witnessed an elderly woman being ripped off by another engineer. He felt absolutely heartbroken about it. Even though he had nothing to do with it, he didn't want people to put the profession in bad daylight. Since then, the man was determined to change things for the better, now offering plumbing services at very low costs or sometimes even free, but only for the people who truly need it. Financially, the switch to nonprofit hasn't made things easy for the man. He's even in debt. However, he says he wouldn't change a thing to be able to help the people in need. A lot of people close to me ask, why are you getting yourself into debt? Why are you doing this? He said, to me, debt is debt. I would rather owe some money to somebody and another person be alive and happy and safe. It's an ethos that I've always had in my heart and it will always stay there. His life goal is to make this nonprofit service available to the entire country. I've spoken to quite a few engineers around the country, and they're all for it. It's just about getting the funding. I don't want any person who is elderly and disabled in this country, in this day and age, to die or suffer because of a cold home or a lack of funding to repair the boiler," he said. It shouldn't be happening. That number should be down to zero. Simple as that," he said. Thanks to the original invoice going viral, he's already raised more than $100,000 in order to make his dream a reality. No longer does this kind man have to live in debt, and he's able to keep the nonprofit going for a whole lot longer without worries. Just look at all these people who are happy customers. Thanks to the generosity of a bunch of kind strangers, James can continue doing good work. Kindness can definitely be infectious sometimes.